Hi Crafty Peeps, Enos here and I am sharing my second Timu haul. But before I get started with my haul, um, I've been interrupted in the recording process by Kiki. So this is little Kiki and he likes to sit right in the middle of everything and interrupt my projects and my recording. So anyway, um, that's Kiki. He said hello and um, I'm going to now swish him out of the way. Bye, Kiki. Okay, Crafty Peeps. Now that uh, Kiki has introduced himself and he's now out of the way, um, hopefully he'll stay out of the way, but I can't promise anything. <laughs> um, but you got to see my kitty in his um, cuteness. So <laughs> with that, let's get started with this Timu haul. This is my second Timu haul. And I placed this order because on my first haul, I earned a $30 coupon and I didn't want to waste that $30 so what better way to use it than to buy more crafty fun. <laughs> so I started out with um, some dies. So here is a cute bow die. This die has a little tail and a couple of different layers so that should be a lot of fun to work with. I then picked up this background piece which I think is going to be super versatile. Um, you can use this to layer all kinds of things on and even cut more than one layer of this, maybe stagger them or have them in different colors or types of cardstock to make some great layering backgrounds. Then I picked up this leaf set, which I really like because it's got a nice variety on there and it will be fun to add those to cards and scrapbooking pages and um, layer up with some pretty flowers. Then I got this um, tag die, and it is a really good size. Let me see if I can measure this right quick. This is, oops, this is six inches long, so it's a real nice long die, and it comes with three smaller dies. Um, cute little tail tag, a little hanging tag, and this one I'm not really sure what this is, so if any of you have this die set, and you know what this piece is, would you drop me a comment in the um, down below so I can figure out what that is because I'm going to have to try it just to see because I have no clue. <laughs> and then I picked up this really pretty um, nested flag set. And I think this one is also going to be super versatile. And um, there's one, two, three, four pieces here and they all have the edge stitching so that will be a lot of fun. And me with the bees and the ladybugs, so I couldn't resist this bee edge die, and um, I can definitely see using this on many, many cards, so I look forward to using that one. And it also has some stitching along this edge here, and we got a little bee here, a big bee here, and a little one here, and it's all nested and surrounded by flowers. And the last die I picked up was this set, which is um, another edge set. It comes with a layered flower, a corner piece, and then um, a cutout piece for the top or the bottom of your page, however you want to use that. So that's it for the dies that I picked up. Then I got um, these iridescent little Ziploc zip bags, and I thought these would be good for um, sequin mixes, charm dangles, um, storing beads, I don't know, whatever you want to. These are just really cute bags, and I think there were 50 of them in here, and it was super, super cheap. I can't remember now what they were, but I thought it was a good deal. And because I'm relatively new to beading as well, I picked up this small um, bead organizer, and I think this will be great for making bracelets and charms and dangles and... Um, let me just measure. This is a very small one. So from, and I'm not going to measure the tag, but from the top of the box to the bottom, it's about eight and a half inches long by six and a quarter inches wide. So for what I'm doing and just starting out, I think this is the perfect size. Then I picked up four of these little containers here snap shut in the front. Um, they have 12 compartments, but the inserts that are in here are movable because they do have these little um, 
I don't know, I don't know what you call that, but you can move these pieces around so you can make some of the con container spaces larger or smaller. I also picked up these four different types of beads here. This is the pretty um, light green and white, a variety of blues, light blue, dark blue and white, and a variety of pinks. And then this is a pretty pastel set with a variety of colors. And then I picked up two packages of beads with letters on them. So those will be fun for some dangles for personalizing. And then I got a few different charms and dangle pieces. So I did get two packs of 10 of these really pretty hearts. They're gold and they have pave crystals on them. So those are really pretty. I loved them so much I got two packs. Then I picked up this package of little charms and there were 20 items in a pack. So you got a variety of keys. Here's a little planet. We have an anchor. Um, there's a shamrock in here. A little Eiffel Tower. I can get that out. Little Eiffel Tower. There's hearts in here. There's there's just a whole bunch. There's a little guitar in there. A bunch of fun charms to fit just about any occasion. And then I picked up a package of these ladybugs. Me and my bugs. Ladybugs and bees. And it's a variety pack of five. So these two are both silver. And this one has red wings. This one has pink wings, and they all have a very nice size crystal faux diamond, I suppose, for the little body. And some of these are in silver and some are in gold, and I really, really like those. And then I got a bunch of these. I think this was packs of 10. Um, they're square beads, almost like... Saworski crystals and depending on what angle you see them at sometimes they have they look like they have color on them and sometimes they're clear so those are really pretty so you can see them in there and then I picked up another container of these baubles some have um, crystals in them seed beads some have sequins there's a couple of different um, little cups with straws, and they have drinks in them. Um, yeah, so a bunch of different ones. I think there was 10 in a pack, so those are really cute. Okay, and so the last thing that I have in this haul is this um, little set of resin findings that I got. Um, I think there was like, I don't know, 30 or 40 of these little things in here. Anyway, they're just little resin pieces and they're in all kinds of shapes and sizes. We got unicorns and piggies and bunnies and frogs, flowers, sundays, more flowers, teddy bears, and my favorite one. Where is my favorite one? He's in here somewhere. Oh, this one here. The little sheep. Isn't he adorable? Look at him. <laughs> He's so cute. Anyway, this set also came with a tube of this B7000 adhesive, which I'm going to assume is similar to E6000. Um, I guess it is. I don't really know since I've never heard of it before, but I will be happy to give this a try and see how that works out. So with that, I'm at the end of my Timu haul, and um, I really appreciate you stopping by and sticking with me through this video. And I um, hope you enjoyed all the goodies that I had and will come back and see me again sometime. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel down below, and I will see you on the next crafty video. Goodbye, crafty peeps.